For this video, we're going to talk about how to make perpendicular lines using a program called GeoGebra. So the first thing you're going to do is go to GeoGebra.org, G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A.org. You get to this website here, and what we want to do is uh, go to the Geometry app. So if you look here on the bottom, it says Geometry. We're going to select that app, and we get this program. Now, we're going to use GeoGebra a whole bunch of times. It may be worth uh, re uh, bookmarking this web page. So the first thing we're going to do, since we're going to make perpendicular lines, that means lines that make a 90 degree angle, we're going to start with making a line. So over here on the left, I click on the line tool. I'm just going to click twice on the screen and it draws a little line for us. If I want to move something around, we can go down and select this arrow and grab a point, move it around, do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Yay, it's very exciting. And But we can move the line around. Now, so this is the beginning. We have a line. The second thing we're going to want to do is now make a perpendicular line. It's very easy to do this in GeoGebra, but you've got to click in the exact right spots. So there's a tool for making it. So you go over to the left and select more. And we're going to find the tool that says perpendicular lines. It's right here. It says perpendicular line. Now, to use this tool, we're going to click once on the line we want to make a right angle with. So I'm going to go to my original line and click once on it. And this thing shows up, but it doesn't stay still. It moves around. So I'm going to click one time off the line, and it creates point C over here. Now, if you go back to the arrow tool, you can move point C around however you want, and if you move the other points, you can see that it still makes a right angle. So we've already done the creation. Now we're just going to show that, uh, to prove that this is a 90 degree angle with measurements. To do that, we're going to measure one of these angles and show that it's a 90 degree angle. To measure the angle, we need a point where the two lines touch. So we're going to go back over to the left and select point tool and click right where these two lines touch. If you do it right, this point shows up gray instead of blue. That means you can't move it. You can't grab it and drag it, even though you can move the other points. That new point we just created on my screen is point B. It always stays where the two lines were intersecting each other. So now, no matter how I move it, that point D is always where the two lines touch. Now we're going to measure the angle to show that it's 90 degrees. If you look at the tools on the left, down here there's one tool that says measure and angle. So we're going to select that. Now to measure an angle, we're going to click on the three points that make an angle. We have to click them in a certain order. That point D is going to be the middle of the angle, what we call the vertex, that's always got to be the middle letter you click on. So I'm going to click point B, then D, then C, and see an angle shows up here. If you click them in reverse order, if you click B or C, D, then B, that will still work. But if you click, if you don't make D the middle letter you click, the middle point, then it won't work. But now I can see I got a 90 degree angle. If you go back to the arrow tool, you can move this around. You can see that it stays 90 degrees. Once you get to this point, you're simply going to call your teacher over and show them this, and you get a, a credit for this uh, construction.